Hey there! Welcome to AB Engineering Guild, the channel where we explore everything about agricultural and biosystems engineering in the Philippines. Whether you're a student, a reviewee, or a future board passer, this is your place to learn, review, and succeed. Today, we're bringing you 10 able review questions to help you prepare for the upcoming agricultural and biosystems engineering licensure exam. These questions cover both theoretical concepts and board style computations, so make sure you've got your paper and pen ready. Let's get started. Let's begin. Area 1. Part 2. 1. A 3 hectares field was plowed using a 15 cm wide animal drawn plow at 4 km per hour and field efficiency of 75%. The draft required to pull the plow is 60 kg. Find the time required to plow the field. A. 11.11 hours B. 22.22 hours C. 44.44 hours D. 66.66 hours. Answer. D. 66.66 hours. Two. A plow with a one meter width travels three kilometers. What is the total area of the field plowed? A. 3,000 m squared B. 10,000 m squared C. 30,000 m squared D. 9,000 m squared Answer. C. 30,000 m squared 3. What was the farm mechanization level in the Philippines in 2013? A. 1.31 horsepower per hectare B. 2.31 horsepower per hectare C. 3.31 horsepower per hectare D. 4.31 horsepower per hectare. Answer. B. 2.31 horsepower per hectare. 4. It is a type of thresher where the crop flows along the axis of the threshing cylinder. The mechanism uses a rotating drum and concave to thresh and separate grains. The crop moves in a spiral or helical path, ensuring efficient threshing and separation. A. Oscillating type B, axial flow type C. Through flow type D, centrifugal type. Answer. B. Axial flow type. 5. Who chairs the National Metrology Board, NMB? A. Secretary of the Department of Agriculture. B. Secretary of the Department of Trade and Industry. C. Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology. D. Director of the National Metrology Institute. Answer. C. Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology. 6. What is the name of the safety device that protects the operator from being crushed by the tractor in case of rollover? A. PTO Shield B. ROP C. Seat Belt D. Safety Frame. Answer. B. ROPS. Meaning, Rollover Protective Structure. 7. What does GEOAGRI stand for? A. Geographic Organization for Agriculture Research and Innovation. B. Geographic Information System for Agricultural and Fisheries Machinery and Infrastructure. C. Government Entity for Operational Agricultural Research Initiatives. D. Geographic Engineering Operations in Agricultural Regions and Institutions. Answer. B. Geographic Information System for Agricultural and Fisheries Machinery and Infrastructure. 8. What term refers to the ability to anticipate and analyze future trends, patterns, or scenarios based on spatial data? A. Analysis B. Forecasting C. Projection D. Foresight. Answer. D. Foresight. 9. What is the first reading taken on a leveling staff placed at a benchmark or known elevation point? A. Foresight B. Intermediate Site C. Backsite D. Turning Point Answer. 
C. Backsight. 10. What term refers to the consistency or repeatability of measurements, regardless of their accuracy? A. Reliability B. Precision C. Accuracy D. Validity. Answer. B. Precision. That wraps up our quiz for today. How many did you get right? Comment your score down below. If you found this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future lessons and reviews here at AB Engineering Guild. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep learning and keep engineering solutions for a better agriculture. See you next time.